the U.S. beef cattle has the lowest inventory since 1962. Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for joining in to another Saturday video. So in today's video, we'll be doing our news, comments, and reports like we do every single Saturday. So I'm hoping that you all are doing well. This is Shauna, and I am checking in from Moments With Us. Hopefully you all are doing well if you want to check in. Now is a great time to let us know where you are watching from and how you are doing. We're going to go ahead and jump right into today's video and see what is going on. All right, so firstly, we're going to jump right into one of these reports. We're not going to read the report. If you're interested in reading this report, it would be in a pinned comment down below. So it's claimed to be that cell tower radiation is causing insects to die. So if it's causing insects to die, imagine the effect that it will have on human bodies, guys. So maybe about a few years ago, a lot of people was recording the 5G cell towers going up, even in like my parts of New Jersey. We have had a lot of 5G cell towers being put up and a lot of people you know, had the conspiracy of this is what they're going to use to control people. You know, this is what they're going to use to get people off their feet. And unfortunately, more and more people would get cancer. But of course, a lot of people who are putting up these 5G towers, um, they denied the claim. So of course, the comments are always open for you to drop your opinion down in the comments down below. All right, so if you don't know, there have been another, a number of derailments that actually have been happening. So Norfolk Southern Derailment, the union warns it lacked workers to install new safety tech. So they're saying basically it's not enough workers to actually get the work done on the train tracks to make sure that the trains have a safe commute. Let's go ahead and check out this small little clip of this Norfolk derailment. So on board of this train, they did have hazardous chemicals, including propane and ethanol. They're claiming none of the 28 cars involved had toxic material. They're saying the situation, of course, is being addressed. So here's one of the former chairman's opinion. In the United States aren't safe. The communities are not safe from the hazardous materials that are carried through each and every day. And this is just another occurrence. So basically, no one's safe of these train derailments because it seems to be happening more often. So this is the third Norfolk Southern incident Ohio has seen in just over a month. And they are working to better their systems. They are working to actually get more workers as well. We'll definitely see what happened and definitely stay up to date with that because this can cause a lot of problems. The, the biggest one that happened over in Ohio and the water got contaminated. Animals were dying. People were breaking out on their skin. Just imagine drinking the water and they were told that it was actually safe to go back home. Use the water. Use the water to cook your food. Use the water to brush your teeth. Use the water to bathe in. They were told that it was safe. Now imagine how much water certain factories around the surrounding area or in the area would be using to make our food. So some farmers already did have concerns about that. Of course, not just farmers, but for the food plants, they also had concerns about the water as well that's going to be used to produce food. And it, it's really a huge concern. Breathing in the chemicals that let off after the derailment into the air alone can do enough trauma to the body. And of course, we've seen in plenty of reports and plenty of things all over social media of people coming out and showing what it looks like to be exposed to these chemicals after a crazy derailment like that in general. And honestly, they're not stopping at nothing. Let's go on to the next report. 
Now, when we think about the pandemic, you guys, it's far from over. It's definitely far from over since the beginning of 2020. I think that was just a drill and things are actually in the works. Um, so our famous Bill Gates, of course, he's warning us about the next pandemic. And this is what he's saying. Bill Gates predicts what the next pandemic will be. So this guy, he's basically saying the next pandemic would be bioterrorism as the greatest global threat to humanity. So they're saying he already correctly warned in 2015 of a possible pandemic, which have already started. Is it over? What do you think? All right. So Bill Gates predicted that the next global threat to humanity, according to the Department of Justice, there are considered weapons of mass destruction. Um, any weapons involving a disease organism. However, the agent does not have to be a biological agent. Only that the agent is capable of causing biological malfunction, diseases, or death in a living organism. So, we already seen what the C did, right? Took out a bunch of people. Um, Then they came out with this jab, claiming to hopefully lessen their symptoms of the C, right? And still took out a lot of people. Now we have these derailments things being put into the food come on guys it's all there it's definitely all there threats of war this can be the war you know there's so much more the stuff that i'm mentioning is just minor i mean minor minor things that anyone can see and there's so much more that can be mentioned but we're gonna leave space in the comments down below of course Hey, if you're still here and you have not subscribed yet, now is a great time to go ahead and subscribe. Turn your notification bells on so you don't miss an upload. We do reports every single Saturday, but we also do weekly Walmart walkthroughs. We report on different events that's going on around the world. We discuss the food shortages and supply chain issues. So if you enjoy that kind of content definitely join us. And if you have joined us already and you are coming back, I want to thank you for always coming back. We also have a join option now on our channel where you can become a member and receive special perks. So if you want to check that out, the join option is underneath any of my videos, including this one. All right, so let's check out some comments and see what you all have been talking about in the comments down below. All right, so first comment is coming from Billy Ann Cruz. Hello, how are you? So Walmart is getting ridiculous with some of these prices. I just wanted like two hours to get things specifically from there because I know they're cheaper. Well, not. Everything is like a dollar plus more than it was like three weeks ago. I refuse to buy it. It wasn't that I couldn't. I just was mad that now Walmart is just as expensive as Publix or Fresh Market and some things. You know what? And you're correct because when I went into Walmart, y'all know I go to Walmart every single week and we do a weekly walkthrough every single week. But I'm noticing the prices are jumping in Walmart as well. And it's like, um, when I was in ShopRite, I could have just picked this up. Because for this price, I could have got it on sale at a regular supermarket and got it cheaper. Because honestly, guys, even though Walmart offer rollbacks, you know, their prices aren't really discounted on food items like that. So not very often versus you going into your regular supermarket where you can use coupons and, you know, you can use your clips and you can actually save money in a regular supermarket versus Walmart. So Walmart is actually giving me the the push away vibes um, because their prices are rising in a lot of items. And honestly, it's at the point where I can go is going or getting to the point where I can just go to my local supermarket to get certain items. So I definitely feel what you're saying. All right. So as far as actual items, like kitchen items for food preservation, 
we always discuss getting a food dehydrator. So Pamela came to the comments and she said, if you can't afford a dehydrator, you can always put your oven on the lowest setting and you can dehydrate things on a top rack, but slowly. Remember guys, you can always get a dehydrator on Amazon, maybe on sale, maybe your local uh, thrift store. Definitely check those out because dehydrators run, can run you anywhere between 30 to like a hundred and something dollars. Um, I, I think I've mentioned this the last video. So getting a dehydrator would definitely help a lot of people out with preserving food and making it last. But you can actually use your oven to dehydrate food. I never personally did it, so I can't give you my thoughts on it. But definitely, I've heard of people and seen plenty of people on YouTube do it. So if you can't afford a dehydrator at the moment and you do want to get started, do your research on that. Thank you, Pamela, for sharing that in the comments. But definitely, guys, do your research on that and you can get started right away. All right, so Michael Best did mention that there's a lot of retailers. They're leaving Portland and other cities in other states right now, of course, for the same reason, which is theft. There's a lot of theft going on in these stores nowadays. And I believe that that would increase. It would definitely increase as people are laid off for one because the layoffs, they are still happening people are pushed into poverty the more people that's pushed into poverty the more chances is in those areas there will be a higher amount of theft right um so he goes on to say sadly the honest paying shoppers and the occasional dishonest shoppers have to perhaps travel further to get the same goods the saying don't bite the hand that feeds you of course is true the hand walmart of course and other retailers have been bitten too many times and you know what michael i definitely definitely agree with you and we are going to see a number amount of closures with walmart and amazon being the top companies that's getting the most attention from closures thank you michael for always coming through and coming to the comments all right, so then someone else came to the comments, um, Quantum Drive. So they stated, you guys are missing an important piece of data. Oregon is a blue state Democrat stronghold. Everything the left touches turns to crap. Plan on it getting worse. If Walmart can't survive the left wing in Portland, then the rest are toast. And so is everyone living there. Zombies are real, but they are not like what you see in movies, of course. Zombies are just people that have not eaten in 10 days because they vote left. And the local food stores close their doors due to theft. Just look at any blue state and see for yourself. You know what? I agree with you. I agree with you to a certain extent just because i don't get political um and when it comes down to the democrats and the republicans my belief i'm gonna say my belief this might catch some people off guard but this is my belief um in my opinion no matter if we have the democrats no matter if we have the republicans in the seat someone is being a puppet right so no matter who is in the seat, who is in the chair, it doesn't matter. Everything is already planned and what's going to happen will happen no matter who's in the chair. Um, But that's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I could be right. Because if everything is already planned, no matter if we have Obama, Biden, no matter who we have even sitting in a chair, like I said, it's already planned. It's about if they're going to execute the plan or not. Not everyone can be a Republican. Not everyone is a Democrat. But what would the Republicans be without the Democrats, right? How are they getting rich? How are they getting their money? It can't be Republican against Republicans, right? Regardless, like I said, I don't want to get political, but politically speaking, Either party would still have to follow the plan. And really, who's really in control? But I definitely get it. And I understand your comment and see where you're coming from. But everything, all the cards are laid out on the table. 
no matter what, these same events that's been happening would have still happened, whether it was the Republicans or Democrats in control. These same events would have still been occurring. All right, so some of the empty shelves over in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you guys. So this person is saying a whole chunk of the produce section have been removed. They also reported lots of empty shelves throughout the aisles of the store. And it seems like it's just not getting better, they stated. Someone also reported that this is the lowest that they've seen the 60 count eggs in a long time is at 873. So we all know that the prices of eggs started to drop about maybe two, is it two and a half weeks now, maybe two and a half weeks ago. And they have been dropping. But guess what, guys? They're slowly going back up. The 60 count eggs in my local Walmart was just like $9.98, $9.93. Now it's over $10 and change. So if you start to see a climb in the egg prices again, don't be surprised. You heard it here that it's actually climbing back up. So if you guys are also seeing that, let us know in the comments down below. Someone else pointed out that they never grocery shop in person, only online. But they went to Costco and it was crazy. No carts. They had to go into the parking lot. And plenty of case, uh, cases as well for a lot of people. In a store, no recession, depression. The carts were full and every seat in the food court was filled. Woodstock GA, no eggs. One woman, she looked crazed. She couldn't believe there were no eggs. She just kept tightening her fist. Zombie apocalypse? I can't even imagine. So the sign does say, currently out of stock on eggs. Sorry for the inconvenience, but for their five dozen, it's $13.49. Um, so I can imagine as these shortages do arise and continue, more and more people would be frustrated going shopping, especially when you receive when you do shop online and you receive your order without half of the things that you ordered, because that does happen to me. But I am grateful that I do still go to the stores and do not only do online shopping. So I can actually see what's available for myself rather than someone picking up my items. Um, yeah, so we're going to leave this video right here where it's at. Today's video was pretty fun, pretty interesting. And thank you all who did share in the comments. You guys, that was not all the comments. Look out for a video either Wednesday or Thursday of the rest of the comments because this video is dragging on. And I don't know if half of you actually stayed to the very end, but if you did, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're the real MVP. Yes, you are. Thank you. So this is Shauna. I'm going to go ahead and check out from moments with us. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Of course, stay prepared, stay on top of things, but don't forget to breathe. Please don't forget to breathe. Um, so yes, this is it. Make sure that you all, of course, if you've been here for a while, you know what I'm about to say. So make sure you all stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe, and remain beautiful queens and kings. Until next video, I'm officially out of here. Happy Saturday. Peace.